Hello and welcome to the Pineapple Dance Vlog. My name's Ben. And my name's Carly. Ever wanted to learn how to do a pirouette? Or learn how to do it correctly? Correct. Well, we brought Amber Doyle in, one of our ballet teachers here at Pineapple, to show me how it's done. Yes. What else did she do that day? Nothing. She maybe showed me how to do port de bras. Right. But, um, what happened to that footage? What a miss somewhere. Did, did Ben Fox decide to delete it so that this episode just features him? No. Maybe, yes. Purely an accident. Fact. Ben that deleted me. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter because pirouettes are more important than port de bras. Anyway. Port de bras are in pirouettes. Just roll, roll with it, roll with, roll camera. <laughs> Um, I started ballet when I was seven and I went to the Royal Ballet School and Central School of Ballet, graduating from Central and went on to perform all over the world. I've danced in Denmark, Sweden, America, Spain, Italy, I've been very fortunate, um, danced to Phantom of the Opera, the Malmo Music Theatre and also worked a lot commercially um, with artists, Madonna, Florence and the Machine, which I love doing actually because I've been doing classical contemporary work with artists in music videos and theatre productions. Um, most recently I've just finished a contract with McQueen the Play in town, which is at the Haymarket Theatre. And now I teach at Pineapple twice a week, Saturday and Sunday. We have a really great general level ballet class, 11.30 on Saturday, 10 o'clock on Sunday, which is open to all levels. We work on pirouettes, adage, bar work, centre, jumps, and we have a laugh as well, which I think is really important in the classes with live music. So yeah, you can always find me here. Yes, we're gonna look at some pirouettes today and just giving a few tips of what can help you turn, what might help you visualize making that perfect pirouette and achieving it, things that have helped me through my career with turns. But I think with a few helping points, we might be able to help you with achieving a great pirouette or a double or a triple. Amber, thank you for joining us. Amber's going to give me some help with my pirouettes and they need a lot of help. So it's been a while, Amber. Where should we start? So pirouettes, basically you're turning on one foot with your leg in a high retiré passé, which is a classical turned out passé from the lower leg. We're going to start by doing an en dehors pirouette. So we're going to turn towards the left. So let's put the right foot in front. That's it, and the arms will prepare in third position. Lovely. Now we're going to be going on day or so we're going to be going towards the left shoulder and towards the working leg. So the left leg is the one that's going to be lifting up into the retiré right, Yeah. We plie prep, so really plie, push down, yeah. and I want you to think of the balance as you go up. So just to go up first. Go straight up for a relevant. Up and down, that's it. So what you've got to do yeah. is try and stay on your supporting okay. leg. So you don't want to fall away from it, you've got to go straight up like a string of the top of it. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a bit better. So the amount of force you've got mm. there is the same amount that you're going to need for your turn. Okay. So I want you to do it again now and add a turn. So spotting with the head with a whip round, start with the fourth position, plie prep, straight up and down. So, here we go. That's We're adding it. the turn. And up, down. Oh, lovely. Very good. <laughs> Pure luck. Very good, because you're under pressure, because I'm standing next to you. Excellent. Okay. okay, so things that I think will help me with the turn. I always think about engaging my tummy muscles. Oh, right. So really think yeah. about the strength in there. And holding your arms in that first position. So a nice round first. Also not, not too much force. And a really good thing that I think helps is visualising that perfect pirouette. Visualising it first. Yeah, and knowing almost how many you're going to do and how many you're going to do and then land. Right. Because you, the finish is just as important as the start. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, I remember at college, I was always in a hurry to do two and three and yeah. four, and I ended up just spinning. And, you know, I can maybe get round, but they were never really clean. So, what's your advice in building some more numbers of pirouettes? I think the main thing, the most important thing with a pirouette is the balance. So what you could do is go to the bar and practice a releve balance, holding that position for as long as you can, shoulders down. The longer you can balance on that one leg, the more helpful that's going to be for you in the centre. Okay. And also starting off slowly. So don't throw yourself into it and come in immediately into the lesson and think, I'm going to do six pirouettes 
start off with one, build yeah. it to two. When you've got a solid double, sail round for a third time. That's good. Yeah. That's and, good. and holding all those things in place, the tummy muscles, the arm, the high rotator balance, the, the balance on the ball of the foot, like being right up on that demi point. Lots of dancers turn like this. Yes. You've got to be right up there on your really? highest, de yes, that's it, highest demi point. Great. That felt good. Okay, so now you're ready for class. Ready for class. <laughs> Shutting out. Oh, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to know more, you can check out our website and make sure you follow us on social media.